prayer for healing from cancer. Jesus Christ is bigger than any cancer. Cancer is nothing but a name. It says in His Word, Every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Every cancer bows down to Jesus Christ, our Lord the Healer. Remember, Jesus Christ raised Lazarus from the dead, who had been dead for four days. He has the power to heal because Jesus is the Jehovah Rapha, the Healer. Now lay hands on the part of your body where the cancer is and say this prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, I take authority and dominion over my body, over my mentioned parts of the body that has cancer. By the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command the cancer to die from the roots. I curse the root of the cancer cells and I cast out the spirit of cancer in my body in Jesus' holy name. I command the cancer cells to stop dividing and spreading uncontrollably that destroy my body tissue in Jesus' mighty name. I command it to shrink and fall away in Jesus' name. I curse any prions and command them to dissolve and be discarded by my body in Jesus' name. I command my body's defensive killer cells to multiply, attack, and destroy all cancer in Jesus' name. I command all damaged tissues to be healed and to function normally in Jesus' name. I decree and declare healing over my body in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen. If you are being blessed with this video, I ask you to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe in this channel. We are doing this for the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you haven't confessed or received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to get saved. Or perhaps you have wandered far away from the Lord since you surrendered your life to Him have backslidden or started living worldly. Our God is a very loving and very forgiving God. All we have to do is to humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness. The word says in Psalm 103, 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. The Bible says in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you recognizing I am a sinner and my sins separates me from you. Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for me and God the Father raised you from the dead. Jesus Christ, come into my heart and change me. I proclaim that you are my Lord and my Savior. And if I were to die today, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. I break every covenant with the world, my flesh, and the enemy. I make a covenant with you 
to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it says in Luke 15.10, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Continue to walk with God by spending time with Him in prayers, reading the Bible, and fellowship with the fellow believers. All praise and glory belongs to God.